Hello. Good evening. Hello. How Good are evening, you? Teacher. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. What about you, teacher? I'm doing good. So, guys, do you see me like frozen? My screen is frozen, my video. Or do you see me uh, like, do you hear me with interference? Or is it clear? The frozen, the moment issue. Okay, and the other ones? I is can see you and listen to you well, teacher. Can watch clear, teacher? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Very good. Let's, I'm just trying to see if, I don't know, like maybe it's my internet or something. I'm trying to fix it. But anyways, okay. So um, let's, oh, I'm sorry. Did something here. Let's start with the class because we're gonna do the presentation of the best friends. Uh, we're gonna do another practice. And then we have two topics that we have to cover today. But anyways, welcome to the class. I really appreciate your punctuality. So thank you for being punctual to the class. Um, I'm gonna ask you if you have questions about the platform. Um, are you working in the platform already or not? Yes, in my case, I have been working in the platform uh -huh. uh, two hours ago. And I did the homework for today. Ah, okay, okay. And everything is good? You don't have questions about it? Okay, perfect. Maybe Marcos Celayandia, you have a question or something like that? Uh, I, today I have a problem with the internet connection. Mm -hmm. uh, I stay in the home and the work. Oh, okay. So you are in your workplace right now. Yes. Okay, but you are not working. Yeah, I stay working. Oh, you are still working. Oh, okay. Yes. Wait. So you're gonna be like a listener today, maybe. What? You're going to be listening today more than participating. Uh, only listen. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Marcos. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's go, guys. I'm going to start right now because it's 8.05 already and we have to start the class. So I will thank you for your punctuality. Heidi, William, Miguel, Adriana, Jose, Marcos, Jessica, and Milton. Thank you very much. I appreciate your, your punctuality. Los salvadoreños somos reconocidos por la impuntualidad, pero que a nosotros no nos pasa, ¿verdad? It's going to be punctual all the time. Okay, I'm going to share my screen so you can see the topic we have for today. Here. Can you help me reading the date, please, Adriana? Yes, teacher. Sure. And today is Wednesday, January 19th, 2022. Thank you very much, Adriana. Can you help me read the to topics for today, Jose Manuel? Uh, I cannot hear you. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, now uh, I can. Okay, classes with it and when. <laughs> Reading the amazing world of apps. Thank you very much. Guys, do you know what apps are? Do you know the meaning of an app? Uh, teacher, I don't know if it is applications. Yeah. No. Like mobile phone applications. Thank you, Adriana. Yes. Even in Spanish, we call them app. Ya descargaste la app, right? So we call them apps. 
in English and we call them apps in Spanish. So it's the same. So now we're gonna start with this. Um, yeah. So now, but I have, I, I don't know how many students I have because I want more people here. If not, si todavía no se puede porque faltan varias, vamos a empezar con otra cosa. Wait a second, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and here. We're gonna start here. Okay. Uh, while we wait for other classmates to come to the class, but yeah. Okay, so we have this one yesterday and you were practicing this one yesterday, but the activity we're gonna do today is that we are going to time uh, the time that we take to say the tongue twister. For example, let's say ice cream, you scream, I'll scream for ice cream. So we're gonna see if I take one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds. So my time when I say the tongue twister. So now remember, it's not about speed, it's about pronunciation as well. Okay, because you have to time, se van a tomar el tiempo, you have to time yourselves, but it's not about the speed all the time. No me importa que me diga, pop, ya lo dije, teacher. No, it's like, I need to hear you say it good. So pronunciation plus time. We're gonna go to the breakout rooms. You're gonna have some minutes to time yourselves. So I'm gonna send you, to the breakout rooms, and we're gonna divide the time like this. Listen, first, you're going to practice with your classmates. Take two minutes or three minutes to practice. When you finish practicing, okay, you start doing one round taking the times, okay? When you take the time, don't be like, one, two, three, go, no. Please listen to your classmates. And when you hear the word I, start taking the time, okay? Until you hear the word I. Because con el internet puede ser que nos confundamos al decir uno, dos, tres. No, mejor cuando escuche I, le toma el tiempo a su compañero, okay? Y todos lo toman para hacer una media, okay? Yes? Do you understand the activity we're going to do or not? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, perfect. So remember, you have to time your classmates. That's the activity in this moment. Let's go. Everybody accept the invite to the breakout rooms, please. Let's go, let's go. Acepten invitaciones, guys. Están ahí. Jessica.
Hello, Glenda. Hello. Good evening. No, Thank you. Good evening to you too. <laughs> okay. So your classmates right now are practicing the tongue twister, ice cream, juice cream, ball cream for ice cream, but this time they are timing. So you have to take the time to see how long you take to say the tongue twister. Sorry, I uh, could, couldn't listen to you, teacher. Okay, Sorry. okay. So your classmates are practicing the ice in cream, room. use cream, yeah, in rooms. But this yeah. time they are going to take the time. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Okay. With chronometer, right? Yeah, exactly. Chronometer. Yeah. I'm gonna send you stopwatch. In in English, it's it's called stopwatch. Okay, so I'm gonna send you to a room. Thank you. I'm gonna accept the invite.
three ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Uh, two seconds. Ah. Exactly. Bueno, wow. very done. Right. Yes. Four. I think four, four hundred. Four hundred. There are uh, different of me. Of yes. me. Ah, and yes. Four hundred. Hundred ah. is uh is como centésimas. Hundred. Ah, okay. Hundred. 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 Sí. Hundred. Con THS en final. Es como que diga sí. THS. Okay. Okay. And the you, este, marquitos. Uh, again. Uh, okay. You ready? Yes. Three, two. Just an, just an. Just I know about coronavirus. Strain. Mm -hmm. Hi, teacher. The teacher is here. Yeah, I'm <laughs> just listening. You keep going. Mm -hmm. uh, the average is two seconds. Mm -hmm. The average is... between all of you? Uh -huh. And yeah. do you have your times? For example, how much, like, what is your time, Glenda? Uh, two seconds and I don't remember the microsecond. I, I uh, have it. Uh, has two seconds with some microseconds too. Okay, so Jessica, you say you have it? Yeah, I wrote it. Uh, Glenda uh, takes 2.3 seconds okay. and me 2.9. And William 2.2. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And Saul? I don't know if the Microsoft, the, his microphone didn't work because we can't hear him. Saul, are you there? Can you hear us? Hmm. Maybe Wi Fi signal is not good in Saul's house. Yeah, let me let me send a message. Maybe. Okay, okay. Keep practicing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's see. So, Adriana, what was your time, Adriana? Uh, my time was two seconds in 80, I think. 2.8 maybe? 2.8? Yeah. Okay, exactly. perfect. Jose Manuel, your time? 2.8. Okay, Miguel Angel. It's three seconds, teacher. Three seconds. Um, sorry, I. Yes. 
You're sorry. Why are you sorry? Yes, three seconds. Oh, okay. Excuse me. It's a uh, clinic. Uh, my daughter is uh, sick uh, because it's a uh, uh, camera off. Uh, a moment. Ah, okay, okay, okay. You can turn it off. Don't worry. It's okay. Okay. Guys, when you when you have okay. like a situation like Miguel situation you can tell me and i will understand but first you gotta tell me okay um okay. sorry milton you want to say something teacher what uh, how do you say more there in english i don't remember bite bite okay bite teacher uh, almost bite the tongue <laughs> oh say in the tongue twister yes <laughs> yes when, we use the tour very quickly. Yeah, yeah. That is the purpose uh, of the tongue twister, that you learn exactly like that, like in Spanish. But it's, it's good for the pronunciation and the intonation. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. It's mm, very, very good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Guys, when I was in the classes, like when we were going to, to the classrooms, I remember that I was teaching my students to, like I, I was teaching some songs in English and we were singing songs in English. I will say that learning songs in English is one of the best ways to improve your pronunciation, okay? So if you can do it, do it. I don't do it anymore <laughs> because when the pandemic started and we started the classes online, I try once, just once, I tried once to learn a song together in the class and it was so difficult because the internet connection. So I will play the song and one student will be starting the song and another student will be for the second, number two. And it was like, unos iban empezando la canción, otros iban en medio. Like, it was crazy. So online is not a good idea. Songs online is not a good idea. So we are going to learn tongue twisters, but if you can learn a song by yourself, it's perfect because it's a good way to improve your pronunciation. Okay, okay, try to do it. Um, sorry, uh, if you can text me to the chat here on Zoom, your times, please. I would like you to text me the times that you got, okay? So send me, send me to the chat, uh, like the seconds you took to say the tongue twister. So well, I think you have a problem with your audio because I can, I see that you're speaking, but I cannot listen to you. I don't listen to you, no, I, I cannot hear you. No. Ni porque se me acerque, yo creo que es problema de, hay something there. ¿Ustedes lo pueden escuchar, guys? I cannot. No, right? no, 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 I can't. Yeah, I don't know what is the problem, Milton. Maybe, uh, I mean, Saúl, sorry. Saúl, maybe you can leave the meeting, so, and then you come back again. Maybe that's going to help somehow. Puedes salir de la reunión y volver a entrar. Para, tal vez eso ayuda. Please. Is reset, teacher? Yeah, like reset. To start again. Leave the meeting and log in again. Miren, tantos años de ingeniería en sistemas para saber que hay que apagar y volver a encender. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. So the same here. Sometimes when people, when you have problems on Zoom, just leave the meeting and come back again and it will be fine. Sometimes that works. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay, let me see the times. Mm. Okay, okay, good timing. But remember what I told you. It's not about the time, only the time. It's about the pronunciation as well. So you need to practice that. Okay, let me go ahead with the next activity because we had a homework and I want you to start doing the home, like to start doing the presentations right now. So we're gonna describe or 
classmate, I mean, or best friends. Remember that we're gonna use adjectives to describe their personalities. For example, you can say, like I told you yesterday, no, tengo amigos, teacher. It's okay. You can describe your dog. Maybe your dog is your best friend. Maybe your cat is your best friend, okay? So we're gonna start describing them and you're gonna say, my best friend is friendly. My best friend is, I don't know, is a kind person. My best friend is very outgoing. And I don't know, maybe you, like you have the presentations, all the presentations that you have about your best friends. But we're gonna do it in groups again, because if we do it all together here, it will take longer. And yeah, so I will send you to groups. You will take chances to listen to your classmates doing the presentations. And I'm gonna go to the breakout rooms once, for example, and I'm gonna be listening. So far, ¿saben qué significa so far? No, teacher. No? No. Okay. So far es como hasta ahora, hasta, hasta este punto. Okay. Por ejemplo, como si a veces dicen so far so good, significa hasta ahorita todo bien. Si le dicen, ¿y cómo te has sentido? Ah, so far, so good. Hasta ahorita todo bien. So, so far, when I go to the breakout rooms, I always hear you practicing and speaking in English. So that's good. So far, it's good. Okay? So I, I'm pretty proud of you. Saul, can, can, can you now or not? No, still can hear you. I don't know, but I cannot. Y ayer sí le escuchaba, yesterday. Pero usted sí me escucha a mí por lo visto. Mire, si tiene un cipo de ahí en la casa, dígale, venga para acá, vení para acá. Reglame esta situación. Teacher, the internet is Saúl, is possible, is the Movistar, is bad, the company is bad. Now, I can hear you now, Saúl, yes. Saúl, try to speak now. Si la escucho un ratito, pero después no. My goodness. When you say, and now? No. Yeah, I can hear you now, Saúl. Very good. Uh, Perfect. I, I, I think the problem is uh, today I connect a uh, device for increase the volume and it's uh, by, by Bluetooth. And maybe it's the interference because right now I turn off and you can hear me. Ah, okay, perfect. So maybe it has uh, to increase the volume, but it doesn't have a microphone. So maybe that's why I cannot hear you. Yeah, yes. Yeah, okay, yes. okay, but perfect. Finally, I found the, the solution. Excellent. Thank you very much. Good. Now you can listen and we can hear you. Okay, um, guys, so we're going to do the presentations really quick. You're going to say and we are going to describe your best friends and I'm going to go to the breakout rooms to listen to you. Uh, so if you finish your presentation and I'm not in the breakout room, start all over again or start making questions. Don't stay quiet. So I don't want you to be like, Okay, ya terminamos. So now, what? Le apagan las cámaras y los micrófonos. No. So I want you to be speaking. Even though if you finish, keep on going, okay? So let me recreate this. And let's go. Let's do the activity.
place. Yes, yes. We spent three months of poor fun during that time. They were member of uh, Spanish Center, uh, Club Serpas, and International uh, Sport Club. We were to swimming over there, and every day at uh, after the breakfast, we were planning what can we do today. Maybe we can go to swim, to play football, uh, go to the movies, uh, walking onto the hills, and so forth. Uh, remember. They had a lot of money. I didn't uh, spend any money. I only were a guest. And all days, good time and remembers. And the friendship. A good person. Party, party, party. Party, Paranda. Party, yes, Paranda. Party, okay, okay. Time to time, to time, uh, we are uh, to go to the party, okay. A night, uh, uh, on another day to go to the beach, okay. It's, it's, it's very nice, it's a person very, very nice for me. Okay, Marcos, and you? How about you? Hi. I'm sorry. Uh, I remember my best friend is a died in the uh, 12 years old. Uh, I remember my my best friend is a is a, a little bit is a little is a sociable. Um, we he he have um one problem respiration and he I don't remember. Uh, asma. Oh, oh shit. No recuerdo cómo se dice asma. Pero se decía asma. Y cuando dijeron no me dijeron. Ah, he's a um, he's a problem in in the in the house. Uh, and he died in um and six or January of 12 2012. I'm sorry how how long time eh uh, do you know this person or to floor? Um, eight months ago, I ah, know. Almost one year, right? Yes. Oh. Oh, that's nice to hear. Great, Manuel. Do, do you, you know? want to ask something else? No? No. Okay, so it's Thank you, Manuel and Gabriela. The microphone is yours. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> it's, um, my best friend. It's a woman. Uh, I know um, it's very, very crazy because uh, she likes, <laughs> uh, she likes uh, to parties and all weekends. Um, she is very honest, honest, uh, and friendly. It's uh,
Hello again. So, let me look something here, come on. Wait a second. Uh, for the same topic. Okay, so um, let me see here. It's everyone back. Okay, so now guys, well, I heard you speaking in the breaker rooms about your best friends. Some of you had a lot to say about your best friends. So you had his like stories, I mean stories. You had stories to talk about and many people had best friends and now they are gone. Other people, like very different situations, okay? Uh, wait a second. Okay, so um, I heard a lot of stories, a lot of different situations. So good. It, it was really good, the activity. I hope you liked it. And the good thing is like every time I went to a breakout room, you were speaking, which is important. You were speaking and you were practicing and that's what I like. Now I'm gonna teach you a topic that is clauses. So clauses are sentences, okay? Sentences, two sentences. A clause is uh, like two sentences, together, okay? I don't know if you know the meaning of a clause, a clause, that's the writing in Spanish, clause. A clause is when you have two sentences and they have one meaning together. So we're gonna use sentences with when and with it. I'm gonna play a video for you really quick um, you have it in the platform actually, so if you can watch it in the platform, it's going to be good, but here it is. I saw it. Wait, 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 wait. Yo le pongo la velocidad máxima a esto para que pase rápido. Sorry, se lo voy a poner slow. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. So let's say for example. No, wait, 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 wait. What? Oh my goodness, wait a second. Ah. No, un segundo. Can you can you hear Sister Escucha? Can you hear it? Yeah. Yes, okay. teacher. Yes. Yeah, teacher. Okay. Let me follow the structure here, right? Ah, porque me lleva hasta allá. Yo quiero empezar aquí al inicio. Likes. Right. And there. Dislikes. We go. Listen. You'll also learn how to express neutral things. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Okay. What it says at the beginning is with these clauses. He's going to teach you how to talk about things you like, you don't like, you love, you don't love, things you're neutral about, or things that you don't like at all. So let's say, for example, you want to express things that you like. Um, I'm going to use an analogy of a birthday, right? So a uh, quick example. I like it when my friends give me gifts for my birthday. I don't like it when my friends forget about my birthday. There, I just express the likes and dislikes, and I also want to be neutral about certain things. So in order to do that, I'm going to use expressions such as, I don't mind it when my friends arrive late to a party. So let's do the following. First, the first thing that we should learn or that we should become familiar with is some uh, vocabulary, okay? Uh, and so let me do just that. Let me just present this quick vocabulary. If you Okay, so pay attention here. In this case, he's talking cuando podemos utilizar estas analogías. So, well, cuando podemos utilizar estas like it, el, el it y el when. Podemos utilizarlo for likes, positive things that we like, neutral things like I don't mind it, like, mm, da igual, right? 
and negative don't like don't love or you can use i can stand it or i hate it i can stand it it will be like no soporto cuando alguien hace esto no soporto so i can stand it okay let's listen notice i've highlighted in yellow the positive so for things that you like you'll use expressions such as i like it i love it when you're neutral about something you'll use expressions such as i don't mind it and when you want to express things that you don't like then in that case you'll use expressions such as i don't like it i can't stand it i hate it So let me just quickly present the structure and how to formulate this kind of complex sentences. So when we say clauses with it and then we say clauses with when, well, really what we're saying is that we want to express things that we like, that we don't like, or that we're neutral about at any given situation. So let me just present the structure here. What we want to do is we want to use clauses with it and then adverbial clauses with when. Um. Okay, in the good sense of it, in this case, we're going to talk about things that we don't like, we like, we are neutral about. You can use it for many things. But the important thing is that you're going to use this structure for the first clause and the next structure for the other class clause. What is a clause? I told you, they are joint sentences together, joint sentences together. In the first sentence, in the primera oración, lo que vamos a hacer es decir que no gusta, que no nos gusta, que nos que amamos, que no amamos. That's what we're going to do in the first sentence. We're going to express the thing that we like, don't like, we love, etc. And then we're going to use the second clause to talk about the action that we like it or we don't like it and what it is in fact for example in this case pay attention please because it's very important here now for example in this case i say i like it if i say i like it do you understand what i'm talking about it's just i like it I can like many things. I can like the sky. I can like the, the weather. I can like anything. So when I'm going to use when is to express what is what I like. When it's going to help me express the next idea. So I like it when uh, it is. I like it when my friends visit me. Okay, so this is the situation. Now, if I say I like it when my friends visit me, do you understand the idea now? It's a complete sentence. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. teacher is a complementary. Exactly, and the when, so we have, if you can see here, we have two sentences. The first sentence is I like it because we have a subject, verb, and complement. And the second sentence, okay, is this one we have. What is the subject of this sentence? Can you tell me what is the subject of this sentence? What is the subject? Sujeto. My friends. My, my friends, friends, okay, my friends. What is the verb of this sentence? Which visit. one? The visit. second one. Visit me, okay? Visit, visit. I mean, visit. Me is a compliment. Me is a compliment. Well, so, I like it when my friends visit me. So, the second sentence joined with when is to make a complete sense of what I'm talking about. Now, let's do a negative one. I don't like it. No me gusta. I don't like it. What? So I'm going to express now. I don't like it when. Um, okay, wait a minute. Okay. 
Do you know what is outside? Afuera. Afuera. Exactly. So I don't like it when it when it's hot outside. And the first one here, we have subject, verb, but it's negative. So we have the auxiliary verb don't. And in the second sentence, we have it, that is the subject, is, so the verb be, that is the verb, and then a complement. So basically with the clauses with it and when, you're gonna express the idea in the second sentence. But here, here, here. Okay, so listen and pay attention right now. I'm gonna ask you this in Spanish real quick. Con esta parte de it, ese es un pronombre, ustedes saben, that's a pronoun. ¿A qué se está refiriendo ese pronombre? Ya teniendo una idea completa. ¿Qué es eso? No me gusta eso, no me gusta qué. Is a drink? No, 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 it, esto. ¿A qué me refiero con este it? ¿A qué está sustituyendo? ¿Qué es lo que no me gusta? Calor. Salir. <laughs> Cuando está caliente afuera, cuando está haciendo calor afuera, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, básicamente, este it va a es como toda esta oración que está aquí está representando ese it. Me gusta, me gusta qué, el qué, eso, ¿verdad? Esto, eso, eso. ¿Y a qué me refiero con eso? Ah, cuando mis amigos me visitan. I like it when my friends visit me. Entonces, es muy importante que tengan en cuenta porque ese it está ahí. Está indicando todo lo de que vamos a decir después. Recuerden que it es para objetos, cosas o animales. En este caso sería para una cosa, la acción. Que me visiten mis amigos. O cuando está fuera, uh, caliente afuera. Do you understand the idea? Yes, teacher. Yes. I understand. Ok, perfect. Now, in this case, I'm just going to use this because it's here. But, ok, so here we have like different situations that we can use it. So you can use it with positive statements to talk about something that is positive or affirmative, to talk about neutral, neutral statements, like something that is, eh, it's okay. It's not a good thing. It's not a bad thing. It's okay. And then we have negative situations. Like when we don't like, we don't love, or I can stand it. What did I say is the meaning of I can stand it? Do you remember? Were you paying attention? No soporto. Exactly, no soporto. exactly. No soporto. No, no, eso no me agrada para nada. I can stand it. So you can use it with any of these. Let's do one example per each. For example, well, the first one we did it. I like when my friends visit me. I love it. When I go to the movies, okay? I love it when I go to the movies. Me encanta cuando voy a las películas. I love it when I go to the movies. I don't mind it. Mm, I don't mind it what? I don't mind it when... <sighs> yeah. I wake up at... 7 a.m. I don't mind it when I wake up at 7 a.m. It's, it's okay. Don't like it. Don't like it. I don't like it. Hmm. I don't like it when you are mad. No me gusta cuando te enojas. Okay, I don't like it when you're mad. Okay, I don't like it when you are mad. I can stand it. I can stand it when I have to work a lot. Digamos, no le gusta trabajar mucho. No es caso para los workaholics. I can stand it when I have to work a lot. I hate it. I hate it when people, let me see, what I want to say is when someone close to you and scold me, they are, they are <gasps> oh, oh, oh. The, the mask, 
Okay, 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 okay. And, okay. They, and they have. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That is true. I okay. or when it's for me. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so when people are really close to me, I hate it when people are really close to me. Yes, that's a good one. I like it. Yes, I like it. <laughs> yes. So here you see, I have many examples. Um, yes, guys. Yo incluso cuando estoy en la, en la fila para cualquier cosa y alguien se me acerca mucho, yo le digo, respete el distanciamiento social. Y se me quedan viendo bien enojados, pero yo le digo, like, no se me acerquen. Yo tengo COVID tal vez o usted. Y yo los mando para atrás. Hasta les enseño la línea. Si no, si no les hablo, les enseño, les enseño así. Y se me enojan, que se me quedan viendo bien bravo. But it's okay. Okay, so now here, guys, we have different examples. Something that is very important that you understand is always you're going to need, so we have two sentences, two statements. One, I mean, what well, two sentences? And two sen these two sentences have to have subject, verb, and complement. So subject, 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 and subject. And they need, well, the other ones need to have verb, 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 and verb. And then they have the complements. So understand this. The sentence that is before the when needs to have subject, verb, and complement. And the subject, and I mean the sentence that is after when needs to have subject, verb, and complement to have a complete sense. So for example, if here I say, I love it when go to the movies. That is incorrect because we need to have a, no se me duerman, we need to have a subject. Okay, so we need to have a subject. Now, if you do it like this, si lo hacen así es como que dijeran en español, me gusta cuando ir a las películas. Como que no pudiéramos hablar Spanish, right? So, I go to the movies is correct. Cuando ir a las películas, no. Cuando voy, yo, right? I, when I go to the movies. Now, take a screenshot of this. Okay, if you can take a screenshot. Because for the next class, I'm going to need you to do, uh, like to make examples. Like the ones that I did. Okay, so for next class, you need to have these examples <coughs> ready. Did you understand the activity? Yeah. How many examples, Coach? Like the same, like the same. So let me see, let me see, let's count them. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So six examples. One for I like it, one for I love it, one for I don't mind it, one for I don't like it, one for I can't stand it, and one for I hate it. Okay? Okay. okay. We understand. Okay, perfect, perfect, excellent. So Got it. you're gonna tell me something that is true for you. So for example, something that you love. I love it when I don't have to work, for example. <laughs> that can be an example. Or oh, I like it when it's raining. I like it when it's raining. Do you like when it's raining or not? So maybe that can be another example. Yes, I like it. Or it can be, I, I like, like it when way. it's raining and when I'm in my house. Because when it's raining, you talk and afuera, mm, yeah, it's different. Yeah. Okay, guys. Outside. It's good too. También, bueno, depend. depends. Depends. <laughs> okay. Sometimes. Okay, Sometimes. guys. So if you can, please try to. Wait a second. If you can, please try to work on the platform. No importa si van avanzados en la plataforma. Recuerden que eso siempre está bien. El problema es que vayan atrás. Okay. Si van ustedes ya en la sección 2, sección 3, that's okay. De hecho, um, lean, hagan esta actividad. Miren, en la sección, se la voy a dar antes de ir, ¿no? porque necesito que hagan eso. Hay una lectura ahí y necesito que ya estén ahí para mañana. 
O sea, lo más que pueden tardar es aquí. Aquí hay una lectura, ¿ok? So, hagan esta lectura. Look here. So, you have to do this reading. Y después contesten estas preguntas que están acá. Son pocas preguntas. Miren, aquí. Una lectura y después solo three questions. Para mañana mínimo tienen que estar ahí. Antes de empezar la clase, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Ok, teacher. Perfect. Okay, so, I will see you guys tomorrow, ¿ok? Okay, see you tomorrow. See you bye tomorrow, bye. teacher. Have a Good night. night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Take Good care. Night. Tomorrow, you take care.